Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the Inky List Retinol, which looks like this. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. This is an anti-aging retinol based uh, cream that minimizes the look of fine lines and wrinkles with little to no irritation. You can find this at sephora.com and the inky list. She does retail for $9.99 and you do receive one ounce. Okay, so let's chat about some ingredients. This contains Redistar. The Inky List defines this as a stable form of retinol in a dispersion containing tocopherol, sodium ascorbate, and PEG-40, hydrogenated castor oil, and caprylic triglycerides for maximum effectiveness. We also see glycerin, which is a skin replenishing ingredient that we often see in skincare products. A squalene is a great hydrating antioxidant ingredient found within this formula. Squalane is an excellent source of replenishing fatty acids. We also see palmitoyl tripeptide 7 and palmitoyl tripeptide 1, both of which are skin restoring, anti-aging, replenishing, strengthening ingredients. We should know that retinoic acid is bioavailable to the skin. Retinal dehyde and retinol esters have to be converted into retinoic acid by the skin at a cellular level in order to have the same effect of tretinoin or retin-A, both of which are prescription. I began using the Inky List's retinol um, since the first week in August. Some of the first impressions that I had from using this product were smooth, bright, luminous skin, and no matter what I put over top this product, I didn't experience any pilling or irritation. During the first week, I uh, used this every third night. So I followed a hydrating night, a glycolic acid base night, and then a retinol base night uh, skincare routine cycle. I did make sure to pair this with um, a hydrating serum, a gel-based moisturizer, and a calming oil to minimize the dryness and the irritation that is often associated with the use of um, any retinol. On week two, I did bump up the use to every other night while still using my glycolic acid-based serum when not using this product, of course. I did notice smoother, plumper uh, skin and a more luminous complexion. I did not notice any irritation. On week three, I stopped using it with a hydrating serum and I experienced a slight tight feeling into the skin throughout the day. Um, I still noticed, however, smoother, brighter, plumper uh, skin. And then by week four, I did start noticing that my pores started to look smaller. I will say this, your pores will not get smaller or will not disappear. Uh, the pores look smaller because what retinol does to the skin is it kind of thickens the skin a little bit so your pores look smaller. You will never be able to get rid of your pores. Um, it is just something that you are born with. So if your mom or your dad have large pores, 
chances are you will have a large pores as well. I have used a medical grade retinol based products before and some retinol alternatives such as Bakukil, which I love. Um, I think this has given me similar results to uh, the medical grade retinol, but not equal results. When comparing the medical grade retinol to this product, the medical grade retinol formula is creamier, more emollient, uh, non-drying, and non-irritating. I do prefer this formula because it is um, serum-like, um, but it's still hydrating and not drying or irritating to the skin. This is also a lot more gentle than a few other over-the-counter uh, retinol products that I have used in the past. While I do enjoy using retinol-based products in the skin during the summer as there are more natural oils present um, in the skin, um, I think I would use this year round. My overall results have been smoother, brighter, plumper skin, and my pores, like I said, looked smaller. Uh, this plays very, very well with hydrating serums, gel-based moisturizers, uh, cream-based moisturizers, and lightweight oils. Because this is a retinol, you do not want to use this during the day. However, if you do use retinol-based products, you want to make sure that you are using your SPF all day, every day the next day. Um, again, you should be using your SPF every day to uh, protect your skin and your investment. If you are uh, spending hundreds of dollars in your skincare routine but you fail to wear SPF, you are just doing yourself a big disservice. My favorite time of day to use this, of course, is nighttime. Um, I love pairing this with my H2O uh, serum, my Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Collagen Moisturizer, and their uh, Green Relief Calming Oil. I just love that cocktail and during this quarantine I've been in a bit of a funk to where some nights I would just cleanse the skin and slap a moisturizer and call it a night but with doing this test I always feel like I need to do that entire routine. I would recommend the Inky Lists retinol to anyone with dry, normal, combo, and oily skin looking to minimize the signs of aging and improve their skin tone and texture. My pros here are that this is clean at Sephora, it's cruelty free, um, the price point it is $9.99. It's got great ingredients with no drying alcohols, and it's fragrance free. It's also got some good antioxidants. My con is that I, I would prefer that this were in a pump form instead of like this thing, this plastic thing. Um, I do like their overall packaging. It's very clear, concise, simple. I like the font. It's not, I don't find it repulsive. <laughs> Um, I just wish it came in a pump, so that that's my con. I just feel like with this I am always afraid of pouring out way too much. So, and if you can see there's like a, a bit of the product here just sitting, sitting there. So, another con that I have is this does contain sodium hydroxide, which is not a poor ingredient whatsoever, but it does have the potential to um, dry or sensitize the skin. I am going to rate the Inky Lists Retinol a 9 out of 10. I like that it contains hydroxypinacolone retinoid. I think I said that right. Um, which is a retinoic acid ester that is related to 
to retinoic acid. This binds directly to retinoid receptors of skin cells. I love that I did not experience any redness or irritation or excessive dryness during this test, but you should know that I was very conservative um, while testing this. I made sure to pair this with a hydrating serum, um, a gel-based moisturizer, and an oil just to combat um, any potential redness or irritation. So if you are looking to introduce yourself or your skin to a retinoid or retinol-based product, be scratching himself. So if you're looking to introduce your skin to a retinol based product uh, without breaking the bank, I'd definitely give this a go. Um, but do make sure to listen to your skin and start slow. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you were um, able to learn something new. Um, let me know if you would like any more reviews on the Inky list. I feel like they're not terrible at all. Um, but do let me know if you'd like a review on anything in the comments down below. I'll try to get on it. Um, and sorry for maybe sounding a little bit, I know I'm monotone, um, but it's just a weird energy today. Thank you for spending some time with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. So so I think I'm orange now. Whoops. I like that it contains, I'm gonna have to read this.